I just did a video covering the Striker 9, and in that video, I noticed a few comments of people saying that I needed to try out the regular Striker. That's what we're going to be doing today, and I know you guys see these types of videos all the time saying that this gun's OP, but I'm going to tell you guys right now, this one definitely shreds. So if you guys are into zombies content, or honestly anything Call of Duty, please consider rocking the hell out of that like button for me and subscribing to the channel. We just hit 16,000 subscribers. I cannot thank you guys enough for all the insane support lately. Before we get into everything about this Striker, I do need to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor. If you guys are looking to unlock the new MW3 camos such as Interstellar or Borealis or possibly even play in some bot lobbies or get all the best schematics in Modern Warfare Zombies then be sure to check out Mitch Cactus. They're the biggest and most reliable sellers with heaps of brand new offerings for MW3 with completely safe and legitimate services for Xbox, Playstation, and PC. With thousands of great reviews on Trustpilot you guys should definitely check them out. Be sure to use code REALG at checkout for 5% off your entire order for a limited time only. Alright so as you guys can tell we ended up coming in here with a legendary ether tool plus we had a refined crystal. I want this thing to be absolutely absolutely as strong as we could get it so I could see what these people be talking about. So far, just by being in the second tier zone with only PAP2, this thing was handling itself pretty damn well. The very first thing we ended up doing was we ended up getting two HVTs on a couple of manglers in the second tier zone, and this thing just absolutely shredded those guys. But after completing a couple of contracts here in the second tier zone, we finally got enough essence so that way I could go into tier 3 and get this thing packed up to level 3. We got all of our perks, and then the very first contract we ended up doing was an Outlast contract, and I was able to sit in here and take care of all these zombies with absolutely no issue. This thing is handling red tier zone zombies really easily. Right now, from what I've tested so far, I can't really tell you guys which one would be better, whether it's the Striker 9 or the regular Striker. They both are absolutely just tearing through zombies right now. Next, we ended up getting this HVT on this Mega Abomination, and this guy just absolutely refused to acknowledge my existence whatsoever. <laughs> ended up shooting at this guy for so long, we ended up having a huge pile of zombies right below. But luckily, we did have the VR-11, so I could just turn a few of these things, and they can act as a decoy and they can all just play with each other down there. But even with shooting this guy just in the head without him shooting those beams at us, we got his health almost about halfway down. Finally, once he did decide to acknowledge that we were there and he started to beam at us, it was pretty easy to take those heads off and get that health down. But all in all, we were able to take down this HVT Mega Abomination pretty damn fast, and I'm actually really impressed with this little SMG so far. I feel like the ammo reserve, even with Mega holding it with a larger mag, it still could be just a little bit higher, but it's not too bad. The movement on this little SMG is really good and it's incredibly snappy even if you want to put like a larger stock on it then it's just gonna kind of control your recoil and your accuracy just a little bit more you're still gonna have really good movement with this thing it's just blasting through these tier 3 zombies this smg is honestly incredible i think you guys will love it if you try it the very next thing i wanted to do was test this thing on a regular mega abomination one that's not an hvt well for one these are gonna have a little bit less health and they're just easier for us to take down so if this thing handled the hvt pretty well i'm pretty sure it's just gonna absolutely melt through these things and what the hell is with the mega abominations ignoring me. I swear it ended up taking us a fat minute to get this guy to end up even shooting his beams at us and when he finally did he ended up shooting him the wrong way. <laughs> Once this guy finally decided to turn around and shoot us with those beams we were able to melt through this guy incredibly fast. Remember also if you guys want to kill these mega abominations a little bit quicker having that napalm burst ammo is going to help you out a lot. Even after we get this mega abomination dealt with we have absolutely no problem clearing up all the leftover zombies and hellhounds and everything else that are all left around this thing. I'm absolutely loving this SMG right now. Now the next Mega Abomination that I decided to kill, you guys are going to see, he was a little bit more ornery and he wanted to charge at me quite a bit, but we were still able to deal with this guy with no problem. Right after we ended up dealing with this Mega Abomination, I ended up going to like the center and we got into some serious hell. There was just zombies absolutely everywhere, plus a Mega Abomination. I think we had some other bosses and stuff too, but this little SMG was just absolutely destroying everything. And I don't know about you guys, but I am really excited for the update that's coming in just two days finally having that increased stash limit and just a way to cool down our schematics just oh that is awesome i think it took them long enough but then again it's better late than never to be honest guys you know it's only going to take these guys so long before somebody cracks the way to just completely break their system or get the best ways to cool down all of the schematics or get enough essence to get that cooldown timer down enough particularly to the point to where you're never having to wait on any of your stuff as long as you guys are constantly going into like the red tier zone or into the dark ether or fighting the red worm on almost every run that you make which i think most of you guys do or you should be doing you'll be earning a bunch of that legendary loot on all of your runs or almost all of your runs anyways so i would think that a lot of people's stashes are going to be looking really nice here soon now i know i'm right there with you guys the new schematics that we're going to be getting are looking like a little bit of a letdown i'm most curious honestly about that uh dead wire detonators I guarantee you there's going to be some sort of combo that's just going to be absolutely broken just imagine you could slap on like two of the schematics onto the same weapon like what if 
you could put the MAGA holding plus the dead wire onto like the RGL and just spam those rockets. I don't know, I'm definitely curious to see what they're cooking up with that. And I'm also really excited to get my hands on a new weapon. We got the BAL-27 coming in and apparently this thing's gonna act like the aftermarket part for the Sidewinder, kind of like how it starts off slow firing and then it speeds up really rapidly fast. So who knows, that definitely could be interesting. It's a whole new Dark Ether, which is always fun to explore. And speaking of Dark Ethers and updates, I figured I would go into the old Dark Ether because I want to get some of those older acquisitions like getting maybe some Ether Blades and some Golden Armor Plates. Those two I definitely think are going to be very crucial for us to have when we get this update in the next couple of days. It really sucks going around trying to figure everything out and just struggling to find good items. We're going to be going on into the old Elder Dark Ether today. What do you guys think is the better Dark Ether? Is it going to be the old Dark Ether or the new Dark Ether? In our next video we're going to be going through the old Dark Ether completely solo and we're going to be getting all of those old schematics. So if you guys want to see that, be sure to tune into the next video. We're going to toss up the loadout up on the screen right here for anybody that wants to check it out. I highly recommend you guys check out this SMG. It was really fun to rock during this entire run. Again, thank you guys everybody so much for all the support. It really does mean the world to me. Drop a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if anybody is new. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will catch you in the next one.